Hi Virgo, this is going to be your reading for the 7th to the 13th of October. Check your moon, Venus and rising if these messages don't resonate with you all the way or if you'd like more insight on your week. Also, the competition is still going on. Like and subscribe if you haven't and comment letting me know whether you'd like to win the Arcanum deck or the Gilded Tarot, okay? By doing that, you've automatically entered the competition. So what's going on with Virgo? Communication coming in. What's going on with Virgo for the 7th to the, to the 13th of October 2018? Virgo, your energy is strong this week. All right. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment here this week. Oh, seven. seven of Cups, Emperor that I just saw when I was shuffling. And the Knight of Cups, you could be dealing with an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. You could have Aries in your chart. Or you could be dealing with a water sign. We have water here, a lot of cups. So you may, have, you may be in control of your feelings this week towards anyone or whoever you have in mind. Some of you are wanting to explore options, wanting to keep your options open. Some of you may want some, may have unrealistic uh, expectations of someone for some of you, okay? Not all. And you've seen someone as the, eighth, the, the Knight of Cups, so they may be trying to offer you love. They may be flirting with you, you know, or will be. So they are wanting to come back to comfort for some of you. How they feel at the same time is the Eight of Cups, so walking away or leaving something behind. It could be that you guys have kids together, but how they see you is a Nine of Swords. So they may feel like you're stressed out or they may feel like maybe you've shared some sad news with them or maybe you've opened up about your past love to them. They see you as a nine of swords this week. Maybe you're going through some stress. Five of cups. It does seem like if you guys are separated, you are missing each other. Like if they've walked away there's still, there's still feelings there that they're missing you, especially with the Six of Cups. Yeah, the Four of, the four of Swords is your outcome. So you may be spending some time alone, like recharging this week. That's, there's a cat peeping in my house. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. could be really attracted to this person or to someone else or to multiple people could have a lot of attractive people on your back this week for some of you singles or people who are just dating or anybody why is the emperor here virgo I could feel like this person has mended your heart from the past. It could be why you've opened up to them about the past for some of you. Some of you, this person knows your past hurt and 
you feel like they have kind of saved you or mended you, your heart. I see. It could be why you're seeing them as a, yep, as the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. This person may may feel like this person has it, has it all together. They're strong. They can they can be there for you. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups here? So this person may have just walked away from a relationship and you could be like especially if you're dating this person if you just met this person or this is a new situation you both could be coming out of heartbreak and just coming together both could be coming out of, of, of a painful situation could could have been kids involved in the last situation for both of you or for one of you why is the Nine of Swords here. Fool in reverse. Oh, hold on. What do we have here? Okay. Some of you could have been coming out of a marriage or a relationship that lasted a long time and could be really hurt about it. This person knows about this or can sense it if you haven't told them. Okay. Both of you could be having a hard time um, walking away from past relationships. If you both, if you're dealing with someone now who you're separated from, both of you could be missing each other and not wanting to leave, not wanting to move forward. There's the Four of Swords here and the outcome of Virgo. Some of you are going to be taking time for yourself. Oh, mess. Made a mess. Some of you are going to be independent, taking time for yourself. But this is just for a week. This is just a weekly reading, so don't... It doesn't mean that you're going to break up with this person or that things are going to end. You just may take some time to yourself to maybe heal or just tend to yourself. Four of Swords. Definitely some independent energy going on here. Even though you have this person, some of you are going to feel, maybe, maybe you feel a bit scared to open up to them or to believe that they can be the one and so you're kind of going off by yourself some of you could be overly drinking be careful could be partying though which is normal everybody parties but you're not going to be really waiting around for someone you're kind of just doing you and this is just a week so don't feel like as i said it's not a breakup or anything like that it's not the ending to anything it's just that you the outcome of all of this, you with this person, this new person, or somebody you are separated from and don't want to move on from, you're just going to be kind of distancing yourself from that and, you know, just enjoying your own, your own company or maybe with friends, but definitely not waiting for a significant other to come back around or to message you or anything like that. Definitely just... You, you time, me time, basically. Focusing on you and yourself. Okay. So, let's see. What do we have for Virgo? 
express your love. Go ahead and make a, a romantic gesture. Reconciliation. I told you. This person is not moving on from you. You have released your ex. Past. Uh, sorry, I just, I just yawned. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So. It does seem like some of you are moving on from the past with someone, maybe someone you were with for a long time, maybe met somebody new and separated from them already, some of you. And so this, this new person is not over with this new person. Some of you, it's not, all, it's not even over with the, uh, the older person, the person who you've been with a longer time ago. You have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But that's just advice. I do feel like some of you are, are stepping out on your own. At least for the week. Like, you're just enjoying your week. Maybe the weekend. Maybe for the, the 12th and 13th. I think that's the Saturday and Sunday. Maybe that's what you'll be doing. Having a good time. Sacred space. Create an altar or power place to connect with the divine. So with the four of swords in your outcome. Do you feel like some of you will be meditating? If you're a meditator. If you're into that. Home, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Okay. Focus, intention, keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings and actions focused on your target and you'll make your mark don't back down stand up for what you believe is right I just feel like you're escaping your pain this week or at least on the weekend whoever somebody's coming back around so whoever you're dealing with it could be someone new or someone from the past they're coming back around but you're not really waiting for it so that's good you, you're kind of just doing you, having a good time. Okay? Wish fulfillment as your overall energy. So I feel like everything's going to fall into place. But you're going to do you. Okay? You'll be doing you, like, big time this, this week. Okay? So, Virgo, that was your reading for the 7th until the 13th. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if these messages don't resonate with you or if you'd like more insight on your week. Also, the competition is still going on. Like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And check, no, not check. Comment letting me know whether you'd like to win the Arcanum deck or the Gilded Tarot. And I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.